Half of the stadium will be there and the other half will have gone as we saw them. He's shaking his head, John Terry. He can't believe they've lost that game. And Frank Lampard behind him, who's also just come back from fitness. And look at the stern look on all their faces. They are not a happy team, unlike <laughs> this particular team. Jonathan yeah, Woodgate. Absolutely, Jonathan Woodgate leading them there. Of course, he got that winner. Instant hero for him. He's only played four games for Tottenham this season so far. Wasn't even there for them in the semi-final, but he has made all the difference in this final. He got it in the 94th minute. In extra time, it had to go to extra time, but they held on. They made some changes. Juan de Ramos, who is the king of cup competitions. It's his fifth cup in the space of two years. So Juan de Ramos really knows what he's doing in cup competitions, and he's done it right today. Ledley King leads them up the stairs. As you can see, Jonathan Woodgate right behind him. He really is the hero at the moment. Yeah, um, Gary Stevens. just to, while we're talking about the League Cup, John Medeski came up with an interesting theory this week. He said, um, instead of having the 39th game, why not have this played abroad? Quick answer? Well, it's a possibility, but when you've got a stadium like Wembley, don't move it. Quite right. Thanks, Gary. Uh, they're getting ready to uh, hand out the trophies. There's uh, Lord Mawinney, Brian Mawinney, the former politician. Lord Treesman is there as well. He's, of course, now at the FA. And here's Ledley King, who looks to be limping a little bit, but then he does have those knees which they try and keep in cotton wool. But when he plays a game like that, and he and Woodgate have been just immense at the back. Behind him, Robbie Keane, who caused the... Uh, Chelsea defence, all sorts of problems with his speed and his trickery, and Paul Robinson back in the side. Here's Ledley King, first trophy for nine years. Tottenham Hotspur, the Carling Cup final winners of 2008. It's the fourth time they've won this particular trophy, and uh, this is a game they will remember for a long time, and they deserve it. They've only conceded three goals in their Carling Cup campaign. Let's go to Dan Rowe.